Hello guys and welcome back to Professor Explains channel. In this video, we dive into the world of hurricanes and coastal floods and learn the steps we can take for disaster preparedness and insurance protection. Hurricanes, also known as tropical cyclones in some parts of the world, are powerful storms that form over warm ocean waters. They are characterized by low pressure centers, strong winds, and heavy rains and can lead to widespread flooding and storm surges. Hurricanes are classified based on their wind speeds using the Saphir Simpson scale, which ranks them from Category 1, minimal damage, to Category 5, catastrophic damage. Hurricanes begin as tropical disturbances and intensify as they absorb heat and moisture from warm ocean waters. As they move towards land, their powerful winds, torrential rains and storm surges can have devastating effects. Hurricanes have been a constant threat to coastal areas worldwide, but with climate change their intensity and frequency have increased. Notable hurricanes throughout history include Hurricane Katrina in 2005 was one of the deadliest hurricanes in US history causing over 1,800 deaths and $125 billion in damages. Hurricane Sandy, 2012, was a major hurricane that devastated the northeastern U.S., especially New York and New Jersey, with $65 billion in damages. In the last decade, hurricanes have become more frequent and destructive often exacerbated by warmer ocean temperatures and rising sea levels. In the past decade, hurricanes have caused widespread devastation globally, but particularly in the US and the Caribbean. Here are some key hurricanes and their effects. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey struck Texas as a Category 4 storm, causing catastrophic flooding. The storm dumped 40, 60 inches of rain, resulting in $125 billion in damages. Hurricane Maria, also in 2017, devastated Puerto Rico and other Caribbean islands, causing nearly 3,000 deaths and $91 billion in damages. Hurricane Michael from 2018 was a Category 5 hurricane that impacted the Florida Panhandle, leading to 74 deaths and over $25 billion in damages. In 2021, Hurricane Ida hit Louisiana as a powerful Category 4 storm, causing major flooding and wind damage. Ida's total economic impact was over $75 billion. Hurricane Ian from 2022 had struck Florida, causing $113 billion in damages. It was one of the most costly hurricanes in U.S. history. The current hurricane season, June to November, poses ongoing threats to coastal regions. Meteorologists monitor these systems closely, providing early warnings to reduce potential loss of life and property damage. Hurricane Milton has emerged as a significant storm in the current season, with wind speeds reaching Category 4 levels and threatening coastal communities along the Gulf Coast and southeastern U.S. Hurricanes bring torrential rain, damaging winds, and significant storm surges, heightening the risk of flooding in vulnerable areas. Hurricanes cause severe damage, resulting in first, loss of life and injury. Strong winds, debris, and flooding are responsible for many deaths and injuries. Second, infrastructure damage. Roads, bridges, power grids, and water supply systems are often destroyed. Third, property loss. Hurricanes can completely level homes and businesses, leading to billions in damages. Fourth, economic disruption. Hurricanes can halt industries, leading to lost revenue, job losses, and prolonged economic instability. What are the causes and impacts of coastal floods? Coastal flooding occurs when sea levels rise, usually due to storm surges from hurricanes, 
heavy rainfall or tides. It primarily affects low-lying coastal areas. With rising sea levels and more frequent storms, coastal flooding has become more common and destructive. There are several causes of coastal floods. First, storm surges. The most common cause of coastal flooding is when strong hurricane winds push large volumes of water onto land. Second, heavy rainfall. Hurricanes and tropical storms bring excessive rainfall, leading to both flash floods and prolonged inundation. Third, high tides. Sometimes, seasonal high tides, also known as king tides, combined with storm surges can result in severe flooding. Fourth, sea level rise. Ongoing climate change has caused global sea levels to rise, making coastal areas more vulnerable to flooding even during minor storms. What have been the impacts of coastal floods in the last 10 years? In the case of Hurricane Sandy from 2012, coastal flooding caused by the storm surge affected New York City, flooding subways and tunnels and destroying homes along the Jersey Shore. In 2018, Hurricane Florence caused widespread flooding in North and South Carolina, leading to $24 billion in damages. In 2019, Hurricane Dorian caused massive coastal flooding in the Bahamas, leaving much of the island submerged and resulting in more than $3.4 billion in damage. In 2020, Hurricane Laura caused coastal flooding along the Gulf Coast, especially in Louisiana, and caused 19 billion in damage. Coastal flooding results in significant property loss, erosion of coastal land, contamination of water supplies, and destruction of ecosystems. Thus, there is a need for hurricane preparedness, which involves several critical steps to minimize risk and ensure safety. First, Emergency planning is needed to have a clear evacuation route and family communication plan in the case of an emergency. Second, supply kits must include essential items like clean water, non-perishable food, flashlights, batteries, medications, and first aid kits. Third, home preparation is needed to strengthen homes' resilience by installing storm shutters, securing outdoor objects, and reinforcing the roof. Fourth, stay informed. Monitor weather forecasts and heed warnings or evacuation orders from local authorities. Fifth, keep important documents, insurance, identification, etc. in a waterproof container. Preparedness for coastal floods includes First, flood barriers. Install sandbags, barriers or flood shields around properties. Second, elevate belongings. Move valuables and electrical appliances to higher floors or elevated platforms. Third, evacuation. Know your area's flood zones and have a plan to evacuate to higher ground if necessary. Fourth, flood proofing. Seal basements and install sump pumps to reduce water damage. The role of insurance in hurricane and coastal flood protection is paramount. Insurance is crucial for financial protection against hurricane and coastal flood damage. By transferring financial risk to insurance companies, individuals and businesses in high-risk areas can safeguard themselves against significant losses. Insurance has three most important benefits in cases of hurricanes and coastal floods. First, insurance mitigates financial risk. Insurance provides the means to recover from catastrophic losses, allowing individuals and businesses to rebuild. Second, insurance is required by lenders. Mortgage lenders require homeowners to carry specific insurance policies in many flood-prone or hurricane risk areas. Third, insurance helps with recovery support. It covers the cost of repairs, rebuilding, 
and temporary living expenses if the property becomes uninhabitable. Types of insurance for hurricane and coastal flood risk. First, homeowner's insurance covers damage to homes and personal property caused by hurricanes. However, standard policies often exclude flood damage. Second, flood insurance. This is essential for coastal areas, as most homeowners policies do not cover floods. Flood insurance is available through private insurers and the National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP. Third, windstorm insurance. In areas prone to hurricanes, some policies exclude wind damage so that a separate windstorm policy may be necessary. Fourth, business interruption insurance. For businesses, this policy helps cover lost income if operations are interrupted due to a storm or flood. Fifth, auto insurance. Comprehensive auto insurance may cover vehicles damaged by floods, falling debris, or wind. Filing insurance claims after a disaster. Filing an insurance claim is the first step to recovery when losses occur due to hurricanes or coastal flooding. The process generally involves first, documenting the damage. Take photographs and videos of all damaged property and make a detailed list of destroyed items. Second, contacting your insurer. Notify your insurance company as soon as possible to initiate the claims process. Third, meeting with an adjuster. The insurer will send an adjuster to assess the damage and determine the compensation. Fourth, compensation. Once the claim is approved, the insurance company will provide the necessary funds to cover the repairs or replacement of the damaged property. In summary, climate change makes hurricanes and coastal floods increasingly frequent and intense. These natural disasters can lead to significant property loss, financial hardship, and human suffering. Proper preparedness, such as emergency planning, home fortification, and comprehensive insurance coverage can mitigate the devastating effects. For those living in hurricane-prone and coastal areas, obtaining the right insurance policies such as homeowners, flood, windstorm, and business interruption insurance, is crucial to safeguarding lives, property, and financial well-being. Thank you for watching. Keep track for more videos soon. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button down below.